Hi, I'm Nicola from Kids Eye Gear and I'm pretty excited that it is now the start of spring here in Australia, which means warmer days and plenty more time spent outdoors. It does also mean though that we have to be extra careful in protecting our eyes from the harsh sun. I'm joined today by Emma from Children's Safety Glasses. She's a fellow mum from the Sunshine Coast and also an optometrist and is going to share some of her knowledge and expertise with us when it comes to protecting our eyes during the warmer months. Thanks Emma for joining us. Thanks for having me. Emma, I imagine that one of the key things we need to protect our eyes from is the sun. So why is it so important that we need to protect our eyes from the sun? UV damage to eyes can lead to all sorts of nasty things. So the most common one is cataracts, um, also pterygium. So you may have seen, you know, the, scl the sclera starting to grow over the cornea. So that white bit starts yes, to grow. My husband has that. <laughs> common with surfers. Yes. Yeah. Um, and people in central Queensland where it's windy and okay. dust, dust in the wind. Um, it's a way of the eye trying to protect itself from UV. Um, and irritation. So pterygiums, cancers to the eyelids. So you can get BCCs, you can get squamous cell carcinomas. Um, you can also get cancers inside the eye to the iris, the choroid, retina, the whole box and dice. Um, so it's also linked to some nasty eye conditions such as glaucoma and macular degeneration. So UV is such a simple thing to avoid, but unfortunately, causes really nasty things to our eyes. And so what are the best ways we can protect our kids' eyes from the sun? Sunglasses, <laughs> yay! <laughs> um, so if we can get our babies and children into sunglasses as early as possible, particularly ones that are wraparound, so they have a nice bit of curve at the front um, and some side protection, uh, they don't necessarily have to be polarized, but polarized does mean that they're better for the glare and more comfortable for the child to, child to wear. Um, the other thing to note is that particularly for small children like babies, it's good for it to have a strap to hold them on because they don't necessarily like things on their face initially, glasses, sunglasses, whatever. So if you've got a strap holding them on, even better. A hat is also, a broad brim hat, hat is really good because we all know that, you know, we could be wearing sunnies this way, but unfortunately if the sun is directly above, there's still light that's going to come that your sunnies can't protect you from. Sure. So that's two simple things we can do. Awesome. So you mentioned um, the strap on sunglasses for babies and toddlers. Um, I do often get asked by parents about great sunnies for kids. So have you got some there that you can show us? Okay. okay. So I've got um, the babies and the kids bands, which are these that have a neoprene adjustable strap. Okay. Um, but they've also got silicon nose bridge, which is an improvement since my kids wore them because okay. um, it was hard plastic back then. Yeah, so it's, same with Dame. Yeah, not yep. so comfy, um, but that's certainly an improvement. So, you know, you've got your sunnies, then you've got your adjustable neoprene strap. Now, this is the kids version. So this is the zero to two years, so the toddlers. Um, but yeah, obviously we've got them smaller for babies too. Okay. So during spring and summer, my kids spend a lot of time in the water at the beach and in the pool. So I've often wondered, is chlorine really bad for kids' eyes? Um, is that something we need to consider protection from? Okay. So with respect to chlorine, um, I've seen a lot of patients over the years come in with corneal um, chemical burns from chlorine. So they've gone to swim in say a public pool and the chemicals weren't quite right. And unfortunately, because they weren't wearing swimming goggles, their corneas have a chemical burn and that takes a few days to heal and it hurts. Yeah. So not ideal. Okay. So wearing swimming goggles is a good thing. Um, I personally prefer swimming goggles that sit outside the eye socket because you'll find when children, you know, like to have them on really tight, when they pull them off, they get those big red marks around their eyes. And sometimes, I've seen this in adults, I haven't seen this in kids, but they cause some subconjunctival hemorrhages, so little bleeds in the white bit oh. of the eye. And I had one guy coming in every week after his swimming training in the morning, and it was because his goggles were so tight that he was oh, no. causing a bleed. <laughs> oh yeah, I was like, Ooh, okay, I think you need to either get some goggles that sit outside your eye socket or loosen them off a little. Fantastic, Emma. Thank you so much for spending some time with us today to give us some tips on keeping our eyes and our kids' eyes 
um, healthy and safe in the warmer months. Thanks for having me. No worries. You can find Emma at childrensafetyglasses.com.au and for more information on kids eye health, safety and vision, head to kidseyegear.com.au. Thanks so much.